Hello, I've changed my mind about types versus interfaces in TypeScript again. I've been through three phases of this and I'm kind of sick of changing my mind at this point. And every time I do change my mind, I think this is going to be the real one. And this time really is gonna be the real one. So phase one, interfaces are the bomb. This is what I used to think. And this actually to this day is what the TypeScript performance wiki says that you should do. It says on that wiki that interfaces are faster than types. That means that if you care about speed, you should probably be using interfaces wherever you can. Interfaces can only be used for some things though. They can be used for objects, they could be used for functions in a pinch, whereas types, they can be used for everything. By the way, when we talk about speed, we're not talking about the speed of your actual code, we're talking about the speed of the type checker. That's really important because on big projects, your type checker is gonna run really slowly if you've got lots and lots and lots of things to type check. And the theory was that interfaces make this process faster. I wanted to find out if this was true. And so I made a benchmark kind of throwing together a thousand types versus a thousand interfaces to see which one compiled faster. There were lots of problems with my benchmark and like, I'm not sure if I found a good answer, but what I sort of found was it doesn't matter which one you use in terms of just pure number of types. This initiated a lot of cool conversations with the TypeScript team though, and they basically said that this advice kind of isn't relevant anymore. And actually there are lots of different things you can do if you want to squeeze more performance out of your type checking. This took me on to phase two, which is it doesn't matter which one you use as long as you're consistent. Every object should probably be typed as an interface and everything else should be typed as a type. Or if you just wanna use types for everything, that's totally fine as well. This is interesting because actually interfaces have some of their own properties. They can do things which types just can't do. For instance, one interface can inherit from another interface, something that types can't really do unless you mess about with intersections. So I've been happy in phase two for quite some time, just recommending the slightly counter-cultural advice of like types versus interface, it doesn't matter, man, we're all the same. But then I realized something, they're not the same. Interfaces come bundled with a bunch of features that you probably don't care about, especially if all you want to do is like define a basic object type. Here's one, declaration merging. This is if you have two interfaces that you define with the same name in the same scope, then they will be merged. This is like a critical feature of TypeScript if it wants to support like different things appending to window or something. But it's a pain in the ass to deal with because of how it changes how you need to think about interfaces. This really hit home for me when the inventor of AngularJS came to me on Twitter and asked me a question that I couldn't solve because of the way the interfaces behave. Their basic problem was that they wanted a way to say, okay, this type here is JSON serializable. This is possible with types because types can't be like appended to after they've been created. But because interfaces can be appended to, then it screws the whole thing up. You don't actually know what's going to be in an interface when you use it, or at least TypeScript doesn't. So it means that this whole set of possible assignations basically doesn't work anymore. And so I have entered phase three. Phase three is use types unless you need a specific feature of interfaces. If you need a type that extends another type, then use an interface. If you want to say this class extends an interface, use an interface. If you just like the word interface, you know, like you've come from object-oriented programming, then use an interface. But if you want something predictable that's never gonna act strange or do weird things in certain situations, then you should probably be using types. There is no performance difference between them. Types perform just as well as interfaces. And from now on, I will be using types instead of interfaces to declare most things. Thanks for tuning in, folks. You can find my TypeScript course at totaltypescript.com. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I'm gonna be posting a lot more of these. I'll see you soon.